The European tour was just outside Prague last week for the 2014 Czech Masters. Among the more familiar faces was a former world number one, but not in golf. Since retiring from tennis ten years ago, six-time Grand Slam winner Yevgeny Kafelnikov has swapped grass courts for the grass course, playing regularly on the European circuit. We caught up with him to find out how he's getting on. It goes back to probably 1994, where I was a uh, young uh, tennis player, very, very talented, and uh, we were playing, I think, in one of the country clubs in the States, where the golf course was next door. So between the practice, we just decided to go on the range with a couple of players, go whack some balls, and uh, I hooked up ever since. When I, whenever I had a chance to, to be on the golf course, uh, I always was there. With his successful tennis career now behind him, the six foot three inch Russian has now joined the ranks of professional golf. He's played in more than 20 top events in Europe, including six on the main tour, and he seems to have lost none of his competitive spirit. The background being a professional athlete, it's uh, pays his dividends. You know, I always been a you know competitive fighter, and uh, you know I I didn't want to do it for fun. Uh, Basically, I dedicated myself to the game of golf and uh, wanted to see how far can, I can get being, being a professional. Pretty much uh, my practice days, my, my regular days goes, you know, wake up, go to the club uh, from 11 till 4 in the afternoon. So five, six hours, you know, working on the mostly short game, you know, putting, that's, that's where... I'm, I'm lacking in my, in my game at the moment, that's where I need to improve. McElroy and co won't cast any worried glances over their shoulders quite yet though, as Yevgeny hasn't managed to make a single cut. But does being at the bottom of the leaderboard bother someone so used to significant sporting success? I know what it takes to, to get to the very best uh, at one sport and I, I definitely have a lot of sympathy for the guys who's, who's doing it here because not everyone is, is capable of uh, succeeding in, the, in, in their own sport and uh, uh, you know it's, it's probably as, as hard as any other sport to, to succeed on the very best level so I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I have a desire, I have a lot of time you know after being retired for the last 10 years so it's, it's a game of golf really got, got me hooked up to, to something which is I never thought I would. The man who was once the best tennis player in the world is now officially the highest ranked male golfer in Russia, although admittedly only by default as he's tied on zero ranking points with a number of his countrymen. So is it harder to succeed on the course than on the court? Yes and no. The no is because uh, you don't have a single opponent that you always compete. It's first of all a golf course and it's other 155 players who are starting in the field. So um, you need to, basically the, the margin for errors is very small in the game of golf, unlike in tennis. I mean, you can, you can lose one set and you can be a, a breakdown and still come back and win the match. And here we, here we go, you, you, you make a triple bogey, you, you're basically shooting yourself in the foot. So again, the, the concentration level, I think, in the game of uh, golf are much, much harder. So you cannot afford to make mistakes like you can do, for example, in the game of tennis. Unfortunately, the Albatross Resort wasn't kind to him and he missed the cut at the Czech Masters by 16 shots. But a long-term goal is still very much alive. Kafelnikov won Olympic gold at Sydney in 2000 and he wants to be part of the Games again in two years' time when golf makes its return in Rio.